So uh, let's go on plots. Let's select which field we want. We want water uh, on the x-axis and the y-axis. Uh, okay, on the y-axis we want water, and on the x-axis we want what? Mumbai. Can we have more than one? Well, Delhi also is possible. Okay, we have only one. Is it? Uh, let's select Bangalore then. The color. Unbearly size, none, shape, natural. If you don't have any shape, that's fine. So I'm retaining the default settings. I'm clicking apply. Okay. So uh, now let's come here and right click on the source node and I click run from here. So this is running here. You can see it will turn a bit green. Yes, it turned green. All right. So now that is how your output plot looks like. Now these are the quarterly outputs for Bangalore. Okay. Now if you wish to edit, you can also copy the graph and copy the graph data. You can add a graph title, you can add graph footnotes, you can generate, you can view. So now there are multiple options that will again uh, come up as you go into different types of graphs and charts that we have seen there originally um, after importing the data set. So as this is done, um, let us come here and see if you can save it. Yeah, we'll save this file. Save it. Yeah, that's what, that's the plot of Bangalore versus water. Uh, yeah, save it. Yes, it is an output file. So this is one such thing. Uh, this is one such plot that we drew. So that was only for one single plot. plot okay. Um, if I come back here on graphs and I click on uh, multi-plot. Come here. I go to India Housing. I'll connect. So uh, again, out here we now that was only for single plot. Okay, so we have only uh, Bangalore out here. See out here the models we can output can see streams also we are able to see. We have created two separate streams today, and uh, right click on this and um, edit. Let's edit first. Yeah. So what do you want on the X field? Well, on the X field I want uh, Mumbai. On the Y field you want what? I want um. That is all of India. Yeah. Okay. Apply. Okay. And on the panel overlay, yeah, we can have a quarter animation, none. That's how your plot should look like. If you want, can we add more into the fields? Let us see if we can add. Can we add Calcutta also? Apply. Yes, we can add Calcutta. That's us one thing we'll change it. On the X field, we are taking all India. On the Y field, uh, we are removing all India and we are adding more of the cities. So I'm adding Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi, Lucknow, Chennai. Let's also say Kanpur, Kochi, Jaipur, and yeah, we are taking almost all the cities. Okay, right click. Okay, and the panel is what quarterly basis. Animation, uh, we don't need any. So I'm keeping it now. What number of records greater than two thousand? Yeah. Then use bin sample or use all of data. But okay, we are using all data. Okay, I click apply. I click okay. Okay, now I I come here and I click run. So it run this particular portion also. It will run this section also. Right now, this is for all of India. Okay, let's maximize this. Aha! Now see, this is how it shows. But what have we drawn really? We have drawn a graph, which is a multiple plot. Okay. And uh, there is work that needs to be done on this. This is for all India that you've drawn. What more? Now, this is a multi plot that we have drawn. So wait, wait, let's come back here. This is for Bangalore that we already drawn. So I can close this. Right click. And I click. Uh, wait, let's go to the. I click on edit. Hmm. Um, Appearance, title, output, annotations. Let's click on plot again. Uh, on the X field, we have all India. So instead of having all of them, we'll delete some of these. Let's have only two or three of them. And uh, the panel is what on the panel? We have a quarter, and I click apply. So that is a multi plot of Kochi and Ahmedabad versus all of India. Okay. And uh, no, we are not seeing any particular 
lines here that we expect to click on edit oops where is it yeah you can click on edit and copy the graph data graph bands you can add the graph title you can add graph footnote add access labels styles switch to styles or whichever styles as default store styles as default let us store styles and node let us see what happens nothing there is no change it's asking for some changes here but i'm not taking those changes um uh, right so uh, this is how your multi-plot works now let's quickly go on i click okay here so you can see in the outputs also we have multi plots of 10 fields and plus on this plot we already generated so i'm selecting this and right clicking and delete it that one is gone uh fine so we are done with what plot multi plot time plot also we can do it so i bring it here so uh series which series do you want to select you don't have any series here so i'll cancel it for x-axis which they will you want Select time series models. Yeah, selected names, type. Okay, we don't have any of them. So, we're not selecting any time series uh, file anyway. We'll do it as we progress during the course. For now, I'll close this and delete it. Then we have the histogram. So, fine, let's bring histogram over here. And uh, it's also connected to the Indian housing price. Right click, click on edit. Which field do you want? Well, you want to have uh, all India uh, color and all. I'm leaving it as is. The default settings apply. Okay. And when I click run, ah, see, this is how your histogram is generated for what? Just for the count. So, like, you know, 0 to 150, this is how it looks like for all India. And, um, so, we selected the histogram for um, all India. So this is how the histogram looks like for, from 150 to one uh, one from some value which value is that count of three the value here is 98.056 and as it the uh, value reaches to 144 the count is two what does this mean really that of uh, there are two counts where all india value is 144.332 and there are three counts where all india value is 98.056 now this is the band it's 100 to 150. if you come further here this is what is 160 probably 60 70 80 90 so uh this is how your you made the settings of the x-axis automatically and uh we can see here that there are three counts of all india where values are 159.75 and two counts where the value is 190.59 so uh this is how your histogram graph is generated i'm clicking okay can we save this file? Yes, let's save it. Now, what is this? This is a histogram of all India in this plot. I'm clicking save. I click OK. So, we also drew a histogram. We also drew multi plots. We also drew plots. Okay. And after this, what, what more do we have to take a look at? Uh, visualizations. Yeah, visualizations also we've done. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we'll be able to do some map visualizations. Right click, right click, connect. So, whatever data source you have, always connect it to like you know, whichever other node you have feed graphs, out, output modelings, export record ops, or field ops. So, that uh, once you connected your source, then you can form a stream which on which you can then run different models and algorithms and uh, nodes. So, fine, right click and let's click run. Yeah, or not run. It does not contain a geo field in order to plot values from a data set of a map a geo field is required obviously the data set that we have imported is it does not have any geo a geo a geographical field or geo field so therefore it was inevitable that we would have generated an error so uh again there is no issue with that what i'm doing is i'm saving it because we are con conscious about the fact that we do not have any geo field that contains map details and all so uh such an error was not a surprise the next is uh, evaluation of e beta plot, e plot beta. Let's see what they have here because it's in beta version. Connect. 
let's see what they have. So I'm selecting Mumbai as an X field on the Y field. I'm taking what all India color, shape, interested size, and all. I'm leaving it as is default setting. Apply. Okay. Now let's right click and click scroll down and click on run. Let's see what it shows up. It's generating ah, it is generating an electronic flow. It's an e plot. So um, this is how your e plot looks like for Bombay. Mumbai against all India, as you can see here. Uh, let's save this e plot of Mumbai versus all India. Okay, so uh, now this is what this is basic. If I click on data map, how does it show? No, there is no color map. All India supposedly, yes, it looks something like this. For size map, well, if I select all India again, yeah, this is how it will look like. So uh, the values for the increasing value. So, and uh, shape data, no, we don't have any data on that. That's your data map that we are seeing here. Theme dark chart type scatter. So uh, they are also throwing up the various uh, chart details and the technical specifications of that particular chart, which is quite interesting, really. So good, we saved it as well. And uh, what more? Yeah, now this is what I want, almost wanted to show you in the previous stream also see if you click on this it will zoom in so this is this section will be zoomed in you can zoom back you can restore you can also click on save as image so when you save as image you can go to your desired uh, file folder and uh, you can save it oh, wait let us do it in the live sessions folder E plot output we have it right so yeah saving it so this is how your overall um graphs looks like if we click okay i'm afraid we are going to miss out on modeling in the output nodes we're too short of time so if i let us go on the modeling of the outcome on the modeling nodes we are saving this continuously so that we don't lose any data